guys. Can you wave? Okay. You want color in a second. So today we're gonna do Jane's 21 month update. She just turned 21 months, I think three days ago, four days ago, maybe five days ago, whenever the 19th was. Um, and this might look a little different than our other updates. I didn't feel like setting up our good camera to do the update, so I figured we'd just do a little nice. change of pace. Don't yell at the dog, Jane. It's okay. Um, a little change of pace and do the update like this. So hopefully um, we're not all shaky and um, annoying. But the update is actually going to be pretty short today. Um, for the past however many months I've been doing this, I've been really good about writing down all the new things that Jane was doing. Um, especially from like 8 months until like... 15 months there were just so many firsts you know like first beach trip first pool trip you know stuff like that so um now the firsts are kind of dwindling down as you could imagine now that she's getting older and i also was really good about writing down all of the words that she was saying because each month it seemed like the past few months she's been saying one word one new word a day um and then this month started and her vocabulary has exploded literally exploded she pretty much says everything um she's not quite talking in sentences yet but she does say she does put two words and three words together um and i could tell her a word one time and she'll remember it forever so i wrote down a few words that she said this month but there's there were just too many and i stopped writing them down so um, let's just say that she pretty much says everything. There's obviously words that she doesn't know. I mean, let's be real, but she just, she has a lot of words that she does say. Um, just an example, um, we were at the grocery store somewhere and there was a pumpkin and she said, look, apple. And I was like, oh yeah. Um, and I kind of correct her. I was like, that's not an apple. That's a pumpkin. Just like kind of talking to myself, kind of talking to her, but I wasn't really like teaching her. I mean, we were just walking by at the grocery store. Um, and then two days ago we went to Sam's club with Chris and, um, there were some pumpkins and I was like, I bet Jane's going to call these apples. It's really cute. She thinks they're apples. So we walked by and she's like, look, pumpkin. So, and we've never learned, I've never taught her pumpkin. It was just that one time that I just randomly said it and she remembered. So I'm sure, um, that's normal for this age, but it's just cool to see and she just seems so smart. One thing that she, she started doing this month is calling Chris babe. And I didn't realize that's really all I call him. I don't really ever, like if I'm talking to Jane about him, I call him daddy. But, but otherwise, I don't ever call him Chris. I usually say babe or, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what is that? Airplane? You hear an airplane outside. Whoa, whoa. River and Hannah, stop. So she calls him babe. There was a few times that she called him Chris too, which is really funny. Um, but yes, yeah, so she calls him babe. She still calls him dad too or daddy, um, but mainly babe. So um, what else? Um, as far as potty training, um, I think I mentioned either in last month's video or the month before that that I thought she was starting to potty train. She would tell me when she had to go or actually she would basically tell me when she was going um, and she was very interested when I would go to the bathroom or when Chris would go into the restroom. So um, I thought that she was getting there and she's actually still showing all of those signs. Um, she actually tells me right before she's about to poop that she Mama. needs to go. Um, yeah. I bought a little uh, potty seat, like a little seat that goes over the big toilet. Um, and now she's kind of lost interest. She's not really um, into it and doesn't really want to use it. So I'm not going to push it. I do want to get her potty trained soon. And I want to do the three-day boot camp, if you've ever heard of that. And um, basically, you can do a three-day boot camp whenever you feel like 
if your child is showing a certain amount of signs and she's showing all of those signs. So I feel confident that when I'm ready and when I feel like she's definitely ready um, to do that and when we have the time that it will work and we'll just do that. So that's where we are on potty training. And as far as um, her sleeping, I realized that I haven't really talked about that a lot in the other videos. I did a sleeping video a few videos ago um, just about how I got her to sleep through the night, but she basically sleeps from 8 p.m. to 7 or 8 a.m. And then she takes a nap from 1 to 3 or 4. Um, some days she sleeps longer than others for naps, depending on what we do during the day. Um, she it loves her crib. I don't see us changing her to a toddler bed anytime soon. Um, that is one thing that I'm not going to push. I'm going to let her decide when she wants to be in a big girl bed. I know that she doesn't have any Daddy. other... It's okay. It's okay. She calls... Daddy. Daddy. It's okay. Um, she doesn't ever see any other kids in big beds, really, so I don't know when she would decide that she wanted to do that. Um, I guess whenever she decides to climb out of her crib... Or I don't know what other signs I'll see, but I'm not going to mess up a good thing. She likes her crib. She never refuses to go in it. And when she wakes up from her nap, she can sit in there for a good 30 minutes and just play with her stuffed animals um, without wanting to get out. So um, we're just going to stick with that as long as we can. I know that I've read usually Daddy. between two and three and even sometimes Daddy. longer that the child can stay in the crib. So... Um, as long as she's comfortable. I worried a little bit because she's really long. She's big for me that she would Daddy. not be able to fit and get uncomfortable in there, but Daddy, she doesn't show any signs of that. If you can tell right now, she is screaming buddy. Um, she calls River buddy now because that's what we call him as well. She still calls him River um, too, but the dogs are wrestling behind me. I don't know if what you can see behind me, but she's yelling at Buddy to stop wrestling, I guess. And you're coloring. Nice color. You like coloring? Yes? Good job. Um, let me look at my phone and see what other updates I might have on her for her 21 month update. Um, she knows knee and elbow this month. I don't know if I said that last month or not, but those are two new things she knows. She is very independent. I know that I've mentioned that many times before, um, but just little things like swinging on a swing she wants to do by herself. She doesn't want us to push her. Um, that's not all the time, but a lot of times we find that she doesn't want us to push her or help her climb upstairs for the swing or, any, or the slide. Um, she just likes to do her own thing, so very independent. She had her first ice cream cone this month. It was at the very beginning of this month. Um, we were down at the beach. Um, she had her first ice cream cone. She's had ice cream before, but we actually put ice cream in an ice cream cone and let her just eat it all by herself. Um, obviously, it made a big mess, but she loved it, and it was cute, and I took lots of pictures, so that was fun. She says, bless you, if you sneeze. She says, excuse me, too, sometimes. Mama! Um, Jane, what does a bunny say? <laughs> Good job. I tried to teach her that a bunny says, like, to move her nose. And so that's what she does now, so it's super funny. And Jane, can you make a silly face? <laughs> um, she has been loving Dora this month. Um, my mom got her a pair of shoes a while back that had Dora on them, like in the inside. And she's never seen Dora before on TV. And I told her that that was Dora and she remembered. And every time she looks at the shoes, she says Dora. So one day I decided to put it on TV just to see if she would like it. And she did. She loved it. So now um, that's a TV show that she likes to watch. She's just now recently got back into Shushy Bye, which I thought was like a baby show. Um, that was the first show that she ever liked. It was one of her first words that she said, which was Shushy Bye. Um, and it's been a few months that she hasn't asked for it, but then all of a sudden this month she's been asking for it a lot. So she's been watching that and she's still watched Sesame Street and Barney and now um, Dora. 
So those are her shows that she likes to watch. The last thing is that we've had to start time out. Um, Jane, for the most part, is really good about listening. Um, there hasn't been many things where we felt like we've had to put her in timeout recently or before. And so I just decided this month that whenever we were telling her no about something, I would say, um, if you do it again, you're going to go to timeout. And then, um, if she did it, I would have to put her in timeout and I'm doing the, um, she goes into timeout for her eight for the length of her age so she's one so she goes for one minute um the first time i put her in there she didn't really know what was going on um and tried to get up a few times which is normal um but since then i really only have to threaten the timeout and she'll fix her behavior so she's only had to go into timeout probably three times um but we probably mention it every other day maybe um just obviously we give her a warning first if she's doing something then we'll tell her if you do it again you'll go to timeout and then we just stick to it if she does it again she has to go so um it's been working out pretty good so far um and that's pretty much it for her update like i said it was going to be short not too many major things happening um just a quick update on what she's been doing um oh she can count from one to seven and sometimes she can go all the way to 10 a lot of times she just gets confused after seven and then she can say a b c d and then we're working on colors she doesn't have that many down pat yet and then we're also working on shapes so um yeah and she love her favorite animal right now is an elephant she is obsessed with elephants. So I'm just gonna end it there so that I'm not rambling and my arm hurts from holding this up, which is probably why I need to do the sit down with the normal update next time. But Jane, can you say bye? Bye. Can you blow a kiss? Say see you next time. Next time. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.